Three studies this year are shedding light on the melting of Antarctica's ice sheet, both the causes and the global implications. The first study, published back in May, warns that the melting of the West Antarctic glacier has now become effectively unstoppable. Another report being published Friday bolsters that finding and asserts the glacier melt rate of the West Antarctica ice sheet has tripled over the past decade. A third report published Thursday in the journal Science explains why the glacier melt is accelerating. Let's start with this one. It answers the question, what's causing the Antarctic ice sheet to melt? The first thing to understand is that the Antarctic ice sheet sits on land. The continent stores about 70% of the world's fresh water. On the edge of the landmass are thick floating ice shelves. As long as the ice remains attached to the glacier, there's no sea level rise. This study shows that warmer water that has been resting around 800 to 1,000 feet below the ocean surface, called circumpolar deep water, has been rising up. Upwelling winds on the surface are causing this process. The scientists speculate the shifting wind patterns are the result of climate change, but say more studies needed. As that warmer water rises, it's moving under the ice shelf, eroding it from below. As the ice gets thinner, parts break off in the form of icebergs, which then displace water, contributing to sea level rises. What if the entire Antarctic ice sheet melted? It could raise global sea levels by nearly 200 feet. The study on the pace of the ice melting reports on satellite data that indicates each year between 2011 and 2014, Antarctica shed 160 billion metric tons of ice, enough to raise global sea levels each of those years by 0.45 millimeters. In coming decades and centuries, how much will the ice melting in Antarctica cause sea levels to rise? That part's still being calculated by researchers who'll use the new findings to refine existing models. But a NASA geologist involved in that May report said it's quite likely the retreat of these glaciers will accelerate in the future rather than slow down. That's the short answer.